What's up, everybody? What's up? It's Brooklyn Prepper. I'm still alive. Still alive. How you guys doing out there? I hope everything is well with everything. Everything is well with me. Everything's going good. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything is good. You know, you have your ups and downs like always in life. You know, but you fight through it. You fight through it with the power of God. All right, so I figured let me uh, take a little time and get, uh, chat with you guys. I'm driving. I haven't done a video in a really, really long time, and I might be a little rusty. I think my last video was me showing snow. I do that a lot. I show snow. I don't know why. I think people like seeing snow, I'll tell you the truth. But anyway, right, today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about baggage. About baggage. How to avoid too much baggage on your back, right, on your journey towards the Lord, right, what I mean by baggage, baggage are these memories, see, this is one of Satan's little tricks, like I said, you got to put on your armor of God, right, and how to protect yourself and, and, and have wisdom and everything else, and you got to figure out how your enemy works, right, that's how you improve your life and, and you, 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 you become more happy, you know, you don't let this place bog you down. With the world today is, I don't even know what to say about it anymore. It's like you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, you know, it's just normal stuff. Oh, everything is normal. Everything is not normal. Everything is out of control, right?" And you you just look at the news now. It's 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 insane. You know, we got uh, the Americans up against Americans now. Forget about. Uh, other countries or foreigners or anything else coming into the country uh, you just got Americans attacking Americans now because uh, their political views that's why I hate politics and that's one of Satan's other little tools he uses to divide us is politics you know I never could understand that it should be what's good for the country you know if you're not happy with the president we have right now all right you know this it's, it's not gonna be the president forever right People weren't happy with Obama. You know, he's not, he's not the president anymore. You know, in Bush, whatever. You know, it's it, you go back to all the presidents. And, you know, and this is the first time, I don't know, I've been on this planet for a long time, right? But this is the first time I've ever seen so much anger uh, uh, about a candidate and everything. Really, does it matter? Does it really matter who's in office? <laughs> Think about it, okay? It really don't. You know, but you gotta try to pick the best one or whatever. And and if you disagree with him, you just gotta say to yourself, okay, let me see what he could do. You know, I, you know, hey, you know, I disagreed with a lot of things with Obama, but I wasn't out there throwing rocks and burning buildings down. You know, it's, you know, I knew one day he won't be president and see what the next one does. It's all in God's hands anyway, right? They got all this crazy stuff, North Korea and everything, all this stuff going on over the world, and people are just looking around and taking selfies. You know? Hey, let me take a selfie. You know, the world is burning, but I'm going to take a selfie today. You know? Not to say that you shouldn't be happy when all this is happening and everything, because, you know, uh, when it comes down to the Lord, he, he tells us, he told us constantly, the, these things might must come. They must come to pass. You know, these things must happen, right? So it's no surprise in the way the world is going today, right? If you're following Christ, you know, it's you could see it all around us. And you can see how Satan, especially now, Satan is really, really, really using all his tricks and his uh, wisdom to uh, deceive many of us. It, uh, it's incredible how many people are walking away from God. Or how many people say they believe in God, but they believe in some kind of feel-good nonsense, right, that I can never understand, right? If it makes me feel good, I'm going to go with this one, you know? I'm not going to I'm not gonna listen to that guy because, you know, it, it, it makes me think about the bad things that I do, right? So I'm going to just go with this guy that says, don't worry about it, as long as you're happy, you know, and, and your, your, your energy and your life force. Is all good. Your force. The force will be with you. Right? When you go to heaven, the force will be with you. You know, you're going to have Luke Skywalker, like, judging you or something. Right? You're not going to have Luke Skywalker. I'm sorry. It's going to be the Lord Jesus Christ judging you. 
right? And believe me, he wants all of us home. You know, so he's he's not a he's not a god that wants to punish people. He's he's a father that wants that that delinquent child home. And he's up at night and crying at night and, and, and begging and pleading for that child to come home, right? But he gave us choice, you know, like it or not, we got choice. But anyway, when I talk about baggage, right? Baggage is those things in life, you know, even though you come to Christ, you ever find yourself thinking about things you did in the past that might haunt you, right? And this is this is good for anybody listening to try to teach your children and everything, right? The, the less baggage you have when you get older, your mind is really at ease. You could be a happier person, right? You could you could enjoy life to its fullest because, believe it or not, you know, even being a Christian, I, I think about things I did when I was a younger guy. I was like, you know, it, they hit you and, and it, it's uncomfortable, you know, and these are the baggage. And we, we all know when you come to Christ, he forgives us for all this. He forgives us. But the problem is that a lot of times we can't forgive ourselves. You know, we can't be like God. We can't be like Jesus. It's impossible for us. We we can't. You can't even forgive the mailman if he if he if he 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 messes up your mailbox, right? You're gonna forget. You're gonna forgive yourself for some kind of hideous thing you did when you were younger or whatever, or you know or how you conducted yourself and how and how you made people feel bad around you, or or, or you know. Or just be a rotten person, you know. Sure, once you come to Christ, you become of new. But these things haunt you. They 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 come back and haunt you. And this is one of Satan's little tricks. He, you know, we're weak in that point of forgiveness for ourselves. It's it's we find it hard to forgive other people. Forget we find it really difficult to forgive anybody. If you think about it, you know, my heart is with God and stuff. When I find myself like aggravated at certain events and certain people and everything, and I gotta keep on catching myself. But what's good about that? It's just you know, I'm I'm only flesh. I'm only I'm only human, and uh, the only thing I could do right is 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 fall back on the Father and and say, please give me strength not to feel this way and, and relieve me of this anger, relieve me of this. This uh, hostility I feel towards this person help me forgive them. And that's a, and we need God to 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 do that for us, right? But like Satan likes to play with our memories, our, our things that we are forgiven for already, right? But he will pop them into your mind. Like I said, you know, you think if you if you're the type of person that 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 think there's there's nothing talking to you or nothing putting these things in your mind and in your in your spirit right if if you don't think that then, then these videos are not for you really because right if you just think ah oh, you know uh, you know uh, you know i love religion it's so beautiful and one day i'm gonna go to heaven but i don't believe that these things influence in me right if you if you if you like that you don't believe that things are influenced you like i said these, these videos probably are not gonna do nothing for you right but as for myself, I, I really believe there's this influence. There's influence in in these demonic beings, you know, that were here one time in a flesh form, but now are here in a in a spiritual form and dimensional, if you would say, you know, that are really still picking us. They love to see us suffer, you know. And like for, like for instance, like you, you'd be just like going through your normal everyday routine and everything. And all of a sudden, something this, this thing pops up in your mind, like uh, when you were a kid and you uh, you threw a brick through somebody's window. Not saying I did that, but a brick through somebody's window and and, and you caused you caused harm to somebody else's per personal property, right? And you know, when you're a kid, you know you 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 did a stupid thing and everything like that. But why, for some reason, that you you're in your, your your late forties, your early fifties, this this pops into your brain, because these things like to see you relive that thing. Because now they know that you're you're more pure, you're with Christ. They know they're gonna put in your brain. So, like, how can I say this? So, they they like watching it affecting you. Like, like, look what you did, you know. And you with God, huh? You look what you used to do when you were a kid. You you you're not even worth it to be with the Father. That's what the, that's the trick. 
you know, and that's the trick. And, and when you have these baggage with you, especially when you're a, a younger person, or it's a great thing to tell your kids, like, try not to get yourself in trouble. Try not to get yourself in situations that could embarrass you. And and, and then, because believe me, and you got to let them know, these things will come back, right? Uh, on just any occasion. You could be having a good time, you know, or just driving and feeling good. And all of a sudden, these memories of crappy things you've done, right, to things or other people start haunting you because, you know, this is how these demonic entities play games with you, you know, they, they try to make you feel like, you know what, maybe you're really not worth it, maybe this is all, you know, hocus pocus and stuff like that, they're try constantly trying to fool you, right, so my recommendation is when you're talking to younger people and you're trying to bring them towards Christ, be honest with them, just tell them, say, listen, you're going to have, you're going to carry these scars with you through your whole journey because we can't be like God. We God forgives unconditionally. We can't. You know, we it's it's almost impossible for us. We might forgive somebody and everything, but we always remember, you know. You know, I remember what that guy did, you know. I forgive him, but I won't forget, you know, that he stole my girlfriend when we were 10. Right? You, you know, it's so you're always going to bring it with you. No matter how close you are to God, because we're in the flesh, we are weak. And that's why we have to put the armor of Christ on and, and, and battle these things. It's a constant battle. And this is a, this is a simple thing, you know. It's like when these things pop up in your, in your mind and everything, and you, you know, now you know what's going on. It may, and then maybe not just because I'm telling you, this is just the Lord speaking, you know. And now you know when these crummy things come into your mind, you've got to dismiss them and push them away. And, you know, because sometimes they can ruin your day. They could bring you to a point where, you, you know, you feel a little depressed about it and everything. You're really living something that you've been forgiven about 20 years ago. God forgave you. You know, you got to forgive yourself. And, you know, but like I said, it's, it's hard for us to forgive ourselves. Right? Because we don't have that strength. We, you know, without the Lord. With the Lord, we can. We can come to, uh, how would I say? We can come to uh, an understanding. Right? And that's what it is. We, we come to an understanding why these things relive in our memories and stuff is because, you know, these stupid demonic things like to mess with us, right? But so what you do, you, you got to exhort them and, you know, and, you know, you're pushing them aside and you just remind yourself that you have been forgiven for any act that you have, have done, right? Any act that you have done, once you fully bring yourself to Lord Jesus Christ and your heart is fully with him, right, you're forgiven, you know? I'm not just saying by you, 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 you speak your words out of your mouth. Oh, forgive me, Lord, and, uh, you know, and everything's okay. You know, I go to church now, and I ask for your forgiveness, so I'm okay now. And then you go outside being crappy again, right? And that, that doesn't come. You've got to feel it. It has to be a, a feeling of, of, of remorse for all your sins and everything else. And that's when you truly hand yourself over to Christ, right? So... Remember, you know, when, you, when you're talking to young people, and, and especially children, it's remote, like, be honest with them. Say, listen, things you do today are going to affect you many, many years later, right? The decisions that you're, you're doing today are going to affect you many years later. So, you know, you got to teach your children. You got to try to educate people around you, especially your younger people, that being with Christ right is the most important thing and you got to be honest with them if you if you're teaching people to go to Christ be honest don't sugarcoat nothing don't don't make it sound fuzzy and, 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 and be honest with them you got to let them know that you know there's consequence to to uh to all the things we do right and you know when, when you read scripture and you read the bible and you're close to God believe me when you're doing something wrong when you come close to the God when you're doing something wrong Right, your body, your body's telling you. You 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 know you're doing something that's that's questionable in God's eyes. You know, so you when you're fully with God, you're gonna you're gonna take these feelings and 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 and, and those. How would I say you you're gonna take these feelings and those feelings are gonna be your your weapons of warfare against these other demonic presence trying to push you towards a bad decision. All right, guys, that's my little piece for you today. And I'm going to try to do more videos, but 
No, it's I, I want to. I, I do. Like YouTube has come like a really crummy place anyway. I remember one day years ago, I've been on YouTube for over five years. Can you believe that? Right? But I remember at one time it, YouTube felt like you were walking into a like 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 a, a schoolyard to hang out with a bunch of friends, you know. You 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 felt good, you know, doing it. YouTube has come really. It's sort of phony now, and, you know. I'm I'm gonna try to keep myself up, but it's sort of plastic, you know, it's, with all this stuff and everything like that, and you know, and you wonder why more and more people are really not doing videos anymore because it's not a welcome environment anymore. So and that's like I'm saying these. Everything that was good at one time eventually gets destroyed by these dark forces. And, you know, that's why it's important. you got to really get yourself right with God, especially in these days and this these times right now that when everything is so uncertain uh, around us, you got to really make yourself right with God. But anyway, guys, it's nice talking to you guys. I'm doing fine, and I love all of you, and, and uh, I hope you're all doing great. Put in the comment section how you guys are and... Uh, I miss everybody and you know enjoy life and to re remember you know don't 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 take any new baggage take care